It's been almost a year since I've seen my mum. Can you believe it? A whole year without seeing your mum. That's how it's been for me for many years. One of the great regrets I have about living away from home is that I don't get to see my mum as much as I'd like to. I think about her every day and can't tell you how much I love her. So on this special day on Mother's Day, let's celebrate all our mums for all they've done for us. And we're going to make a great little dish today, il flouton, a dish that I made for my mum when I was a young man first learning how to cook. Happy Mother's Day. So when I was a young man and I started in the kitchen, one of the first dishes I learned was to make a classic old French dessert called Il Flouton. Now this goes way back, this dish. Um, creme anglaise, meringue, okay, let's get started. Creme anglaise is basically English custard and it's a form of gorgeous thin custard that goes along with many of the common desserts that you're probably used to having in restaurants. So I'm going to show you how to make that. I'm going to bring some milk to a boil. I'm going to use six egg yolks of milk. The egg yolk is going to make our sauce. The egg white is going to make the body of the dessert. Before I do anything else, let me put a little tiny pinch of salt into my milk, just a tiny bit. So being able to make a good anglaise is really something that someone who's more of an advanced cook mix our egg yolks and our sugar and you'll see. Now, if you have some vanilla, you can add some vanilla. Milk has come to the boil. Okay, and now we're just going to add our milk into the mixture of eggs and sugar. We're now going to add that back into our pot. And one of the advantages of actually doing this many egg yolks ratio to milk is that it'll thicken up quite quickly. We now need to return it to the heat. If you don't have a lot of experience with this, start with a really low heat, continually stir, and keep it moving, never let it boil, okay? If you let this mixture boil now, you're done. This will turn into scrambled eggs, okay? Keep stirring, get those edges around. Look at that, see that? It's getting together really nicely, okay? If you get a little bit afraid it's getting too hot, you could just remove the pan, keep stirring, and then back onto the heat again. We're gonna blend it, pour it in. lid on blend there we go and check this out this is now you look at this come in and see this how cool is that huh perfect on glaze the next part is making the meringue i'm going to make a very simple meringue and all we're going to do is add our egg whites that we saved earlier uh, when we made the on glaze uh, i've got six egg whites in there. I'm going to add in 150 grams of sugar and then we're going to just mix it until it gets nice and fluffy and you'll see it's very easy to pull this machine apart. Okay let me show you look how beautiful and firm and we're going to now do the final part of this dish and reheat some milk. The milk's heating up. Take a nice scoop of our meringue only takes a, you know, a minute or so on each side and we've really created this really beautiful fluffy almost marshmallow, like a giant marshmallow almost. Alright, that's number one. Okay, here we go, flip it over and there we have it, okay. I've got some passion fruit. Being Australian, we love these guys and passion fruit and meringue go together really well. So all I've done is open my passion fruits up, simply remove the seeds and all the juice together. No need to separate them. One of the final parts of the dish. We'll put a little bit of our anglaise mixture, which is really absolutely perfect. That's why they call it. So what does Il Flouton mean? Il Flouton means the island. Take a little bit of this passion fruit that we made earlier. A little drizzle of passion fruit. I've got some little rose petals here. That's the first version of our Il Flouton. Try and flip this guy over. Okay, it's gonna be challenging. Don't worry. Oh yeah, there we go. Beautiful. And we'll scoop out these big bits. There it is, look at that. Ha! I'm putting them on the towel to dry out. So here's the giant one that we made, okay? Poach it into our... All right. 
back to our passion fruit, we'll do the same garnish. A couple of the rose petals here. And there's our two little eel flotons. That was real time, people.